Hello everyone, Kaiser here, and today I'm back with a new video, which is another custom update video. Um, and like the two I've made before, this is just me showing off some customs that I've worked on that don't really warrant a full video. These are just slight modifications that I wanted to show off. And as you can see, I have some figures that are new and some figures I've had before. So with that, let's get into it, starting with... Piccolo. This is actually a new figure I have and what I did for him was I actually swapped out the legs and the reason I did that is because if you don't know this is the Dragon Stars Piccolo or the Dragon Stars Cape version of Piccolo. I don't know why there's two but yeah this is the Cape version and what I did was I swapped out the legs because they broke. If you know how Dragon Stars works they have a drop down hinge that lets you move the leg out more but that broke on me so what I did was I took the legs from my bootleg piccolo figure if you remember way back then and yeah I pretty much swapped out the legs for that one they're still able to move fairly well and I'm still able to get a thigh swivel and I did that because I actually took the thigh swivel part from the original Dragon Stars figure and I pretty much drilled a hole you probably can't see it but I did drill a hole into the um, bootleg figures leg so I can still get that thigh swivel so there's that I also switched out the feet and I also used the ankle joint from the Dragon Stars in order to you know get some movement there and I also just use the shoes from the Dragon Stars. Not only that, but I also um, decided to keep the Dragon Stars accessories, that mostly being the the turban head and the un or the I guess just the normal head. And I did that because like I said before, I got the cape version which doesn't come with an alternate head. So yeah. And as you can see compared to the other figures, I do wish he was somewhat taller, but um, if we compare him to Batman here, he is somewhat taller, so I'm not too bothered by it. So yeah, there's Piccolo. Moving on to Cyborg. What I did for him was I swapped out the legs. That's mostly what I did. And the reason I did that is because I wanted him to be a bit taller. And again, using Batman as a comparison, you can see now that he's taller than Batman, but originally he, Bat, um, Batman was taller. And I didn't really like that, so what I did was I used the lower legs from a Overwatch Ultimates Reaper and pretty much took them off and repainted them and stuck them on the figure. And I was able to keep the double jointed knees, as you can see. And I'm really happy about that. But I also decided to take the hands from the Reaper figure and repaint them. Um, so here's the open palm. Oh. Here's the fist, and I also have his two trigger finger hands. And like I said, I just repainted them, and I also drilled a hole into the original arm. So, so I would be able to plug them in, and the fist just came out. So yeah, that's all I did for Cyborg. Why is, why is the fist keep coming out? Eh. All right, moving on to, let's go with Natsu. Oh, can you stay? Yeah. So what I did with Natsu was pretty much give him fab, um, give him cloth goods. If you remember the original figure, um, pretty much everything was made either from tape or sculpted. And while I thought it looked good, um, I realized that it started kind of fading over time. It just didn't look as good. So I replaced everything with cloth. The um, coat or jacket he has here is made out of cloth, and not only that, but it is wired, so it is able to pull off some poses. The his skirt piece here is also wired, 
so it can also pull off poses. The his pants are just made out of white cloth, so they are able to get a bit more range and the little ties at his at the end of his pants are made out of cloth too. So yeah, and since this is wired, let me you are able to move the legs out a bit more if you need to. But yeah, I just really like the look of it. Um, it just kind of looks a bit more, it just looks a bit better. Not only that, but I also replaced his scarf. And it, it, it is also wired. And as you can see, it's a lot longer than the original. And honestly, again, it looks a lot better. And I did this because, honestly, I did not like the look of the original scarf. It just didn't look like Natsu's scarf at all, so... Decided to redo that. It wasn't too hard to do. It was just sticking a piece of fabric over the um, sticking a piece of fabric over a piece of wire, and then gluing it and painting it. That's not how it's actually supposed to go, but it's fine. But yeah, really like how that came out. So let me. See. I'm standing here, and there we go. All right, moving on to Batman. Um, if you remember the original Batman figure I had, this is made from a DC Universe classic Superman. I can't remember which one exactly, but that's what it's made out of, which I find hilarious. And what I did was, along with giving him an alternate head, which I just wanted to show off here, I still kept the original with the longer ears, I replaced his lower arms with gauntlets from a... I think it was an Arkham Knight Batman, and I did that because I liked the look of it. So yeah, um, and aside from that, what the biggest modification came from the lower legs. And what I did there was I gave him double jointed knees. Now how I did this was a little bit harder, but it's still doable. What I did was I took the, I think it was the elbow, the elbow joint from a old Marvel Legends Human Torch. And I stuck it on the figure, or stuck it on the peg here. Let me get a bit closer so you know what, I'm, so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I stuck it on the peg here, and what I did for the lower legs was I had to cut down a groove into the legs, which also meant shaving down the legs a bit since they aren't really meant to. Um, since the legs here, which come from the DC. I think it was the Dark Knight Rises, or Dark, yeah, Dark Knight Rises Batman. Um, they weren't meant to be double, double jointed, so I had to, you know, cut a groove in and place a dowel rod in there, so I could get the double jointed knees I wanted. Not only that, but I also gave him a pivot, and how I did that was I took the original peg out and gave him a new peg, as you can see. And just drilled a hole into the into the foot so I could stick it in there. And yeah, that's how I gave him not only double jointed knees, but um, an ankle pivot. And I really like how it came out. Um, not only that, but I also redid his cape, which is made out of a newer black plastic. And since I wanted it to look um, a bit better when it comes to draping it over the figure, I took a piece from an actual Batman figure and cut the cape, like a majority of the cape off in order to get just this flat, or at least this base so I could stick the cape in. So if I want, I could have it behind the figure if I want some more action poses, or I can drape it over the figure, like so. And I think that looks pretty good. Moving on to a Marvel Legends Shuri I got, um, I think it was a few days ago. Um, this is something I saw a lot of people doing, which was just repainting the figure since it was missing a lot of paint. So that's what I did. Um, pretty simple overall, just um, blue, bronze, and gold on the places where it needs to be. I think it looks pretty well. Um, no, but I remember that I had a more basic Shuri figure. I can't remember which line it was from. But I decided to take parts from those and add it to this one. Um, which includes a little skirt piece, which on the original Marvel Legends wasn't removable, but on this one, or on the cheaper figure it was, so I decided to take that. 
and um, I also decided to redo a few of the, well not redo, but repaint the head. And what I did there was, if I can get it to, if I can get the camera to focus, probably not. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, I did repaint the head, which is mostly just the eyes. And I think for, for the most part, they're okay, but I probably would want to go back and repaint them. But for now, I like how it looks. But since I had the alternate um, figure, I decided to um, repaint that head as well and use it as an alternate head for sure. Um, with this figure, or at least this head, it does have a different hair design. But I don't know, I, I think it looks good for her, um, especially since I think in the comics, she does actually sport this type of hairstyle before. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. But not only that, but I also made her lower arms removable. So I could give her the pair of arms from that figure. I think this is the, yeah, this is the right side. So I can just stick it on there. And I also decided to keep the... Um, Wakandan gauntlets. I'm not sure what you would call these. I'm going to call them arm cannons. So yeah, if I want, I can have her with these arm cannons or the ones that came with the original figure. I am thinking of getting rid of the effect parts for, um, I'm not sure which one of them, but, um, getting the, like, getting rid of the effect parts and putting them on the other pair of arm cannons so I can have one with the effects and one just neutral. I think that would look pretty nice. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I did for Shuri and I like how it came out. Now on to the last figure which is Ryuko. This is actually my brother's figure. Also if you noticed that Ryuko was holding Litten, good for you. Which he got for his birthday. But um, he actually wanted me to do some modifications to it since he knows this is kind of my thing. And aside from stuff like repainting a few things, and actually no, just repainting a few of the parts of the figure were all were the only necessary stuff. But I decided to do a little bit more, but I'll get into that. So as you can see, this is the Figma Ryoko Matoi, but this is actually a bootleg. And for the most part, um, at least just out of the box, it wasn't bad aside from, I think it was this leg just popping off, but wasn't too bad. Um, but what I decided to do was, aside from, again, repainting a few of, like, the necessary parts, I repainted all the black, or, yeah, repaint, repainted all the parts that were supposed to be black, a kind of shinier black, uh, which includes her hair and pretty much the entire outfit, only because on the original, it was kind of like a dark blue which I didn't really like but I did add if you can see bits of blue into the black so yeah and I also decided to give her pieces of thread on her outfit and I think the reason I did this was because when I think of Ryuko's outfit um, a part of me thinks of the whole life fiber aspect of it so that's what I did it's mostly on the legs which are just pieces of red thread uh, glued to the legs. Um, and even on the back, I decided to keep it that way, but it doesn't get in the way of the articulation. So I was happy about that. This also goes for her arms. As you can see, there's red thread there. Um, and that's about it for um, the red thread, honestly. But I also decided to repaint Senkets' eye to make it a bit more vibrant, and that just goes for um, any parts of the red that I repainted just to make it a bit more vibrant since it was kind of muted um, It didn't look as bright as I thought it should be and this includes the hands As you can see a bit more vibrant that goes for all her hands exactly So yeah, like how that came out um, and one more thing that I did because um, it was <laughs> kind of a big problem with the figure, hold on, was the angry face in particular. Or the shouting face, I'm not sure what, what you would call it. But when it came to this eyebrow, the one on the 
the one on the right. Um, it was missing like a huge chunk of paint, so I had to go and repaint it. And not only that, but I repainted her mouth, if I can get the camera to focus again. There we go. So yeah, it was missing a bit of paint in the mouth, but I went back and repainted it, and I'm glad I did, because it looked pretty good. So that's it for Ryuko, and that's it for this video. Um, like I said, this was just supposed to be a quick update on some custom stuff that I'm working on, and I'm sorry if it was kind of disorganized. That's kind of what I do with these videos. I just go through, tell you what I've done, not really um, organized. But I still hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm working on. I plan to have one done by my birthday, so I can at least post it on my birthday. Um, it's a video that I've seen a few people request, so I'll get to work on it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.